In the previous few classes, we have seen how we can read and write a text file. Now in this session, we are going to talk how we can read and write XLS file. We have also observed that working with the text file is little difficult compared to working with an Excel sheet. I have created harmonic function using a time vector and this harmonic function which is 10 sin 2 pi 5t. Then I have defined another vector vac1 where the t and h1 both are situated in a single column. So when I will run this code, you can check here that vac1 is a vector which is having two columns and 101 rows. Now I want to write this vac1 data in an excel file. So to write the excel file, XLS write is a command which will create an Excel file where you can save your data. But nowadays, MATLAB is recommending to use different command instead of XLS write. Write table or write matrix or write cell are the different command which can be used to create the similar file. But the philosophy will remain same. And in this session, I am going to talk about how we can create Excel file using the XLS write command. After writing the XLS write command, we have to give the name of our file. Let I want to create a file data underscore one dot XLSX. Then we have to assign the vector which we want to store in our Excel file. In the given case, I want to write the wec one vector in my XLS file. So this statement is complete now and if I will run this code, I will see that a file naming data underscore one is created in my current folder. This is the data one file which look like that we are having two column. The first column is corresponding to the T vector and second column is corresponding to this H1 value. We can also add some title for these two columns and for that what we need to do we have to write in two different steps. In the first step, we have to given the strings for the specific position and then we can write the data. I have modified the code and you can see that I have created another vector AA, which is nothing but the combination of two strings. The first is indicating the time and second is indicating the amplitude and I have used this curl bracket to define the vector AA. The next line is indicating that I am writing my XLS file. That file name is data1. First, I want to write the vector AA and 1 is indicating the sheet number. There is a standard format. If you will simply type help XLS write on the command window, you will see that help file will be available to you. And there it is written that what is the standard format to write a file through the Excel that first will be the file name then you can write the RA then you can define the sheet in the next step you can also define the position in a sheet for example in the given line I have written that the file name will be data1 AA vector will be written in the file the sheet will be one and the position where the writing will be start is A2 cell that means I am leaving the first cell I want to start with the second row of my sheet. So when I will write the file, you will be fine that the first row will be empty. Then I have written again the data, but this time I am writing the my vec1 data. So when I will execute this command, the first line is going to write the time and the amplitude in the in the second row. The first row will empty and from the third row onward, the vec1 data will be written. Here is the output of my file. You can see that the first row is empty. In the second row, I am having time and amplitude and further you can find that this is my time vector and this is my amplitude. If the columns are more than two, this in, you can write the file in the similar fashion. If you are not interested to write anything in the first row, you can simply write your data and then you can write your vector and you remove all other things. MATLAB by default create the file and it will give all the columns uh, starting from the first column and the first row position. After learning how we can write an Excel file, let's try to read the same Excel file. To read the Excel file, the command is XLS read and then we have to give the name of the file. So here the file name is what? The file name is data underscore one dot XLSX and I want to save the data in a vector D. Let me run the entire command and the D will be created. 
so you can see that d is already created in your workspace it is having two column and d is exactly same what we started with this vector one data i can display the d and d is having two columns which are extracted from my data file we should also see that in our file the first row was empty and in the second row some string was there but when i have read the file through this statement d is only having the only numbers are stored in the d vector so this is how we can create an excel file as well as we can also read an excel file thank you